What structures do you have in place um, to kind of check folks' work? And how do you select the editors? And how often does that happen? So I guess quality control. Yeah, so big, the big question. So some of the videos, um, what we do is we identify um, kind of a source that people trust. So for example, flu vaccines, a source that people trust, and I guess some people don't, but it's the CDC. And so we basically have the CDC kind of double check all the videos and is the content accurate? Is it factual? And they'll, they'll get back to me and say, well, you said this, but really it's not efficacy, it's effectiveness. You've got to change that word or explain what that difference is. And so sometimes it's like a subtle thing like that. Sometimes they'll say, well, you, you really have to talk about this because it's missing and everybody wants to talk about thimerosal. So you've got to talk about it. Or mercury, you've got to talk about it. So they'll come back to me with feedback like that. Other times you, we, we get uh, feedback from cardiovascular surgeons, you know, members of the community that are working as a heart surgeon in Duke or wherever, and they'll screen all my videos and make sure that they're accurate and that you know, they're okay factually and that they make sense. And then in terms of feedback for the presentation, a lot of that ends up being YouTube. You know, people say, you speak too fast or you're confusing me when you say this. And you know, I take that seriously and if, if I get enough of that, I'll just redo the video. And, and clear that up completely. Mm. So there are things like that in terms of feedback. Most of the style comes from YouTube and mm. in our uh, website, and most of the content comes from some kind of source, some authority on that. And then you have like uh, staff members just kind of checking some of the comments so that there's some of those, the questions, exactly. the answers and questions and that everything. And actually th that's where people contact me all the time, say I want to help out, I want to be a volunteer, how do I help out? And that's one of the things that a lot of our, our volunteers do. So I work with a team of volunteers around the medical content and say, look, screen the comments constantly, comb through them and find errors, find things that people are confused by, tricked by, and tell me, make a list and tell me. And we'll just put that on my inbox of things I have to fix. And I'll just constantly keep iterating on that. So that's how it works. And it works pretty well because, you know, I have a video right now on the 2012 flu. That's going to come down in about six months when I do the 2013 flu because it's a different flu virus. It's going to be different things in the vaccine. So some of it is going to have to be iterated anyway. And some is iterated because there are mistakes uh, or things aren't as good as they need to be.